If you're watching this video, then you're probably worried that you may have breast cancer or just want to know more about it to spot the signs. Either way, well done for taking ownership of your health. And why is it important to know about breast cancer? Because it's the commonest cancer in women in the UK, with one woman being diagnosed every 10 minutes. But remember, men can also develop it too. So it's more important than ever to be breast aware. And why do doctors bang on about this? Well, there's a really good reason for it. And that's because everyone's breast is different. It's a different shape, it's a different size, it's a different texture. So you need to be the experts of your breast. So be proud, stand in front of the mirror, have a look, be an expert in what your breasts look like and know when there is a change and when you need to speak to us. Before I go in and tell you the six signs of breast cancer, it's really important to remember the anatomy of the breast. This is really important because remember, the breast isn't just here, it actually extends up to your collarbone and goes around your armpit. So those areas need to be examined as well. Symptom number one, and it's the most commonest that we hear from you when you come to see us at the doctor's surgery, and that is a lump. If you've noticed a new lump, one that is changing or that is growing, and particularly if it's persisting around and even after your period, then that's when you need to come and see us. But remember, like I said, when you're examining for lumps, don't forget to examine all the way up to your collarbone and all the way under your armpit. Symptom number two, is swelling and change in the shape and size of your breast. Now, when we have breast cancer, it causes inflammation within the breast tissue. And this usually presents itself as swelling and redness and tenderness. So when you're looking at yourself in the mirror, check to see if there's been a size change in your breasts. Is one area looking more swollen than the other? is one bit poking out where it didn't usually poke out, that is also a symptom that you need to be mindful of. Symptom number three is irritation or dimpling of the skin. Now, when breast cancer grows in the breast tissue, it sort of clings to structures around it and kind of pulls it towards itself as it's spreading and growing. What that does is if you have skin on top, is it pulls that skin towards it. And you can get this sort of orange peel appearance to the skin. In addition to that, because of the inflammation that it causes, you might notice that that area looks red and the color is just different. Now I'm going to talk about the area of the breast that's actually forgotten sometimes and we don't seem to examine it as well as we do for the rest of the breast, and that is the nipple. There are lots of signs and symptoms associated with nipple, the change in the size and discharge that also can tell us if we're worried about breast cancer. So let's go on to those. Symptom number four is changes in the nipple structure. Did your nipple start to invert inwards? So making us worry that the cancer is pulling the nipple in, or vice versa, or have you noticed pain around your nipple that wasn't there before? Symptom number five is nipple discharge, and this is other than milk if you're breastfeeding. So particularly things like red discharge that would indicate to us that it has blood in there, or any other colors such as yellow and green. And symptom number six, although it's not very common, it is still one of the signs and symptoms of breast cancer, and that is flaking and redness and itching of the nipple and the areola. This is usually referred to as Paget's disease of the breast, and it can be a sign that you have breast cancer beneath it. And lastly, when you do come to see us in the doctor's surgery, there is something else that we feel for, and those are lymph nodes. Because when breast cancer is growing, if it wants to spread around the body, then it does so through the lymph nodes. So it will travel up the lymphatic system and go into the nodes under your armpit or on your collarbone. So think about when you have a sore throat and you have swollen nodes all around your neck. Well, the same thing can happen with breast cancer, but you get those swollen nodes under your armpit and around your collarbone. So you can examine those as well. And if you notice any lumps and bumps in that area, also let us know. Let me know if you'd like me to create a video where I can show you how to examine your breasts, your armpits and around your collarbone in a step-by-step -step manner so that it just becomes second nature to you when you're examining your breasts on a monthly basis. A really important question to you. 
are you going to be breast aware and come to see me and my colleagues when you're worried about your breasts? If the answer is yes, then this video has done what it needs to do. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in another video. Bye.